Hey guys, welcome to Techie Talks. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your process um, in Commander 8. Okay, so like when you when you create a new project, then the folder structure will be like this, and inside which you will be getting two options, and one is to choose a template, and another one is to create new files. Okay, now I'm going to uh, go with this create new file option, where uh, when you click on this one, you will get like um, new bpnm diagram or dmn diagram form or connector templates right now we are going to go with um, bpmn diagram i'm choosing bpmn diagram here and we are getting a window where we can uh, like uh, design the uh, process so i'm giving it name as first app okay so um right now i have no idea like what i'm gonna um like design so let's um, put it in this way so we'll be having one maker and we'll be having one checker okay so the start event maker use a task and checker use a task and then an end event so this is how our uh, like uh, the process going to be here okay i'm clicking on this one and adding a task and i'm making it as use a task and then i'm adding another task and i am making it as use a task so and then i'm adding an in the event that's it so now we can name it so for that you have to double click on it and then this is start and this is maker and this is checker and this is end okay and uh, here there is an option to test the process without starting an instance okay so like when you click on the test process um, initially it will set up uh, the temporary cluster and all so once it is done then you can test this process so just click on it so it will be moved to zb play so here um, like you know that is um, like a, a task available in the maker um, works type so here if you click on the uh, tick mark, so then the job will be completed here and then it will be moved to the checker box step. Okay. Yes, I'm clicking on it. Success. And it is moved to like a checker. And I'm clicking on here. And like it is tested successfully. So this is um, the purpose of test process options. Option available here. Okay. And then, um, okay, now we'll um, check with the actual process. Okay. I'm going to uh, initiate one instance. Just click on start instance. And if you click on this link, it will be moved to um, operate. Um, uh, or else, like, you can click on these, these dots and then you can get the operate window here. So go to the operate. And <clears throat> this is our process. Just click on it. And you got the, um, like, this is how we used to look at things in the Commodore 7, right? So we'll get the, like, uh, where the uh, instance is um, uh, currently in. And so to, like, work on the task, we used to go to the task list, right? So here, just again, click on the dots and then click on task list. And the window will get opened. And just click on it. So we have one task in the maker work step and we need to claim it and then we can complete the task now if you go to operate and refresh it should be in the um, checker work step yep now it's moved to checker and again i'm moving to task list <laughs> So we got one task at the checker. Checker is claiming it. And then I'm completing the task. Again, if you go to the operate, see the process got completed. That's it, guys. I think um, like Commander 8 is like way easier than Commander 7, where um, we can. Um, <coughs> We can design the process, and we have the we have all the options handy. Okay, from here we can like uh, navigate to task list and operate, and we do all these stuffs. I hope um, this video will be helpful for you. And if you really like this video, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.